So a few weeks back, Ark Survival Evolved did a vote where we found out what the second creature was going to be coming to the Lost Island free map later this year. It worked in a way where Wildcard asked the community to come up with some ideas and post what they wanted to come to the game. And then the top 10 managed to go into a like next round and there was a poll. And from that top 10 was the winner, the Dinopithecus. In that top 10, there was loads of other things that got lots of votes. And one of them was the Leviathan, I think that's how you pronounce it, Leviathan creature, which was the giant prehistoric whale, which a lot of people really wanted to come to the game. Since then, someone has created an amazing mod for it, and Wildcard have actually um, uh, said that there's going to be a second vote, so everyone can throw their ideas in again and see what gets into the top 10, and to see what is going to be the third official dino for the Lost Island. I wanted to make this video since I saw the mod as, uh, you know, it'd be like to see maybe even if there's a chance that it comes as the uh, third dino, and I just thought it'd be a great video for all you guys with the Lost Island hype. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you for all the support, and let's just get in and spawn this thing in, because I cannot wait to see it and see it's got all these different special attacks as well that I want to show you guys. As soon as we find out when the voting opens for the next dino, I will let you guys know, and I'm going to be putting mine together. And this was in the top 10 last time, so it'll be interesting to see where it finishes in the next vote. So as you'll be able to see, the uh, this creature has lots of different attacks. I'm going to spawn it in first, and then we'll come back to all the different attacks that you can do. It's obviously an ocean creature. It's a giant whale, so let's get in to see what this is going to be. Apparently, this is like a standalone mod um, for one of the whales that w was in Atlas, if I'm correct. But yeah, let's get it spawned in and, and see what it's like. So I did actually get the command copied. We're going go to go for a 150. And wow, this is actually massive. <laughs> We're actually inside it. What should we name it? Should we call it... Um, we're just going to call it our friend. What an amazing name. Uh, but we're just going to go for it. Um, and we can press ride. And we are on the Leviathan Massive Whale Creature. Look at this, guys. This is absolutely crazy. Um, I actually want to hop off of it and in creative mode, have a little look about what this looks like in game. Um, so I want to get it to quickly stop following me so we can just have a little look from this side what the Leviathan creature looks like. It's meant to be more powerful than a Mosasaurus as well, from, from what I'm correct. But let's quickly read through. So, it is a knockout tame. It can breed. Left click is a bite, which inflicts bleed based uh, 110 damage. Uh, damages all structures, but deals slightly less towards structures. Deals 1.75 times damage to the Ammonite. Um... Um, and apparently it has a big battle actually in the game with the giant squid, um, the two so, so that'll be interesting, maybe we'll go and find one of them. Um, the right click is rip and tear, inflicts bleed, base damage is 60, it hits 4 times, um, rapid regeneration upon eating a corpse, damages all structures but deals slightly less towards structures, deals 1.75 times as well, exactly the same as before. Um, C is a lunging bite, inflicts a bleed, which is... Did you hear that? Did you guys hear that? I didn't even realize it was going to do that. Um, and uh, it damaged all structures. Um, same as before. Lunges forward, costs stamina, but has and has a cooldown. And then left control. Does water actually come out? I keep thinking there's going to be water that comes out. I don't know if I'm missing it or not. Um, echo late. Uh, echo. Echolation, I'm going to go for. I'm probably being really... Uh, it's a terrible pronunciation there, but it fires a sonic blast in front of it. Base uh, damage 5. It stuns creatures for around about 6 seconds, um, which is really cool. And if it hits something with a, the sonic blast, it will get um, a, a vision for around 6 seconds as well. Is immune to ink, um, uh, electrocution, and acid burn. Um, it will get a rivalry buff upon killing anything like the Ammonite or the Tuso. Does not need a saddle to ride. Reduces weight of some resources in its inventory. Upon taming, will lose some health and damage compared to wild ones. Nowhere near as bad as a Giga, though. Uh, uh, cannot be grabbed by the Tuso. Only an Alpha Tuso can grab it. Can be found in the ocean. Nuff said. And then a Torpor Tame. So, 
Let's get straight into things. We've been waiting long enough. Friend or Leviathan, let's go and see how you are in game. Did we just get... Did we just get attacked by a Megalodon? There, what was even the point of that Megalodon? Have we got another one here? Look at the lunge attack. Should we... Let's go first person on this thing. Ready? <laughs> 577. Does anything else want to try and fight us? I don't think so. It's got a special lunge attack as well, as you can see. Can we actually lunge out of the water? We can lunge out of the water. It has a cooldown time. Um, look how small us as a survivor is on this on this Leviathan. What? This is crazy. When it eats, it does some crazy thing there. Um, and then let's have a look at its stats. So at 225 um, perfect tamed, well, at 150, it had 20,000 health, 2,000 stamina, um, 46,000 food, 4,400 weight, 490 melee damage, and 100 movement speed. Now, I kind of want to put the movement speed up a bit. I don't know. Is it really going to matter on this? Probably not. We'll probably go for a bit of stamina. Just so we don't have to worry about that. Um, I don't really want to play around too much with the melees and the health. Because I want it to be like legit as much as possible. I suppose the stamina won't make it very legit. So we'll just go for the movement speed and see what this is like. Look at the way it goes down. It looks so like legit for a whale. Now I know from one thing that I did hear from the creator. Is that the, um, the different modes of when riding. Still some of the camera angles need to be sorted out. The first person seems to be pretty fine. Um, but this doesn't. Megalodons actually do attack. Um, I'm going to hop off and watch this actually attack itself. And see what it does in game. You know just because it would be fun. Oh there's an alpha coming. Let's see what happens with the alpha. Come on, friends. You've got this. It's only an alpha. Oh, look at that first bite. Oh, that's an itchy gone. The alpha's still going strong. We've got another megalodon behind us. Look at this attack. It's even got the bleeding attack on there. Oh, it is destroying. It is absolutely destroying. We need a little bit of help here, though. Even though, obviously, we're in creative mode, so we don't have to worry about that. But the mantas now. Look at all of this. So we've got a single... The alpha is now dead, and then... We need some help over here because we've got a singular Megalodon, um, which is now fighting us. We're just going for some swings on it. Let's just go for some swings. Um, but yeah, no. I just think this could be a fantastic addition for Ark. If it doesn't make it as the next Lost Island creature, then obviously you can still get this yourself. Um, is that Megalodon still trying to bite us from... Come on, friend. You need to be helping us here. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Here it comes. There's our... Oh, okay. I actually thought it was going to help us there, but it just didn't, did it? It. You're meant to be helping your your new... I, I tamed you as, as, as an amazing friend, and you're meant to help us against these megalodons when we've got problems. But yeah, so... Um, I really like this, and I just want to see more of the Lost Island top 10 creatures get a chance to come to the game, because obviously, you know, there's going to be so many amazing ones that sadly miss out, and... I, it would just be sad if it if it doesn't if some of these don't actually get a chance to be in the game. This megalodon has got so much health. There we go, level 64. Is there another one coming? What is even the point? What is even the point? Level four. So there was another attack which I think was left control. Whoa! Look at this vision. That is absolutely incredible. So that has a cooldown timer on it as well. And if I'm just, if I'm correct, it's the Echo, um, and it fires a Sonic Blast in front of it, which does five base damage, stuns six creatures, for, uh, stun no, stuns creatures for six seconds around it, um, and we get the vision for six seconds as well. So I want to hear in the comment section down below. Can we try it again? And it stuns everything around you as well. And you can see so much different stuff with this vision. What is even the point in, in anything trying to attack us at this rate? Should we try the stun again? Should we go for it? Look at the little bits of damage it's doing all around here. But, I mean, I think this is one awesome creature in the game. And we can actually do the lunge as well, if I'm correct. What was the lunge button again? Was it C? Yeah, there we go. There's our lunge. And you can lunge out of the water, um, which is fantastic. And can we actually hop off of it and see what it's going to look like like this? <laughs> There's our whale out of the water, 
attacking things. I just wouldn't be ever be worried if you had one of these creatures tamed in Ark Survival Evolved in the ocean. But anyway, I want you guys to let me know what you think about this mod. Um, obviously, it's very quick and easy to, to install if you're on PC. It's a, it's a pretty small uh, mod as it's only one creature. But... That is going to be the end. If you did enjoy, let me know. There are actually some planned updates. The spawn commands are on the screen right here. The planned update is the male and female Leviathans will have different stats. Possibly males being slightly more tanky, but the females will have a gang boost. Um, and then uh, a boss variant of the Leviathan, which will always spawns at level 1, but has enormous stats comparable to the Mod uh, Modor um, on a beta alpha, alpha, um, alpha difficulty as well. And then some sort of tail attack that is used versus rafts by AI and when, it, and when tamed will temporary blind your opponents. Sounds pretty awesome. So lots to look forward to with this mod. It's already got, it's only been up for like a few weeks and it's already got two and a half thousand people download this. So you can see that this whale has got a big fan base. Thank you for watching guys. I'm looking forward to making more videos like this. Look at our whale in the background over there. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in more videos as you guys seem to be enjoying them like this.